If you've ever taken L-theanine, you probably wondered, what is it doing to the brain? Well, I'm gonna explain that right now. I'm Dr. Legrand, and there's five areas that you have to understand of how L-theanine impacts the brain. The very first one is that L-theanine increases levels of GABA, it helps increase levels of serotonin and dopamine. With doing so, L-theanine will help regulate emotions, our mood, and because it's helping with increasing levels of dopamine, it will help with our alertness and also our attention, which a lot of people with ADHD will suffer with having low levels of dopamine. And then of course, motivation. But along with that, because it's helping with also with GABA and serotonin, which has a lot to do with our mood and as well as feeling depressed or feeling anxious, it does help with giving us good quality of sleep, but also will help impact with energy and also cognitive skills. The other thing that I really love about l and what it can do is because it can increase levels of all these different types of neurotransmitters, but at the same time, it can lower excitatory brain chemicals. So if you have higher levels of dopamine and serotonin or GABA, guess what? Guess the symptoms you're gonna have is you're gonna feel more anxious and also be more on edge and feeling more agitated. So what is great about l not only can it increase it, but it also can lower those levels if it needs to and helps balance and stabilize GABA, serotonin, and dopamine, but also it can help lower levels of cortisol. So cortisol has a lot to do with our stress and our energy. If it's too high, we're gonna feel more anxious and agitated and it helps bring those levels down. The other really fascinating thing about L-theanine is it can enhance our alpha waves. Now, alpha waves are considered the more waking, relaxing state. So we see this when people are in a state of meditation or are in a state of being really creative and also are very relaxed and calm. And also where we daydream, we'll have these alpha brain waves. On top of that, alpha waves are shown in REM sleep. And REM sleep is very important to have good quality sleep so you're able to dream more and process things throughout the night. Because L-theanine is able to put the brain in this state, it is a really effective way to put us in a more relaxed state without the sedative effects. There's other things like valerian root, California poppy seed that puts us in more of a sedative effects. But what L-theanine does it puts us in a relaxed state with having those sedative effects so we don't feel so sleepy or also very fatigued while we're taking it. Because L-theanine has these effects, it's very effective for helping people fall asleep and have good quality sleep. Especially if you're someone that is always anxious all the time and the problem of you falling asleep is because you feel anxious at night or agitated, taking something like L-theanine will impact your brain in this way because it helps increase the alpha brainwave activity but it also helps lower a lot of the different excitatory brain chemicals that we just talked about. The other great thing that L-theanine of how it impacts on the brain is it is an anxiolytic. And because it has these anxiolytic properties, it is a very effective tool for promoting relaxation without sedation. So overall, it will help reduce your stress and also anxiety but at the same time will increase those different chemicals that need to be increased to put you in a more of alert state of mind, which at the same time will put you in a state of a calm mind and an attentive wakefulness. The other great thing that L-theanine does, how it impacts the brain is when you are taking and how it affects the actual brain chemistry is it can enhance definitely your attention, your focus, memory, and learning. When the body is under stress, what happens is, is it will increase levels of cortisol and corticosterone. When these levels are elevated, it does impact people's learning because if you have higher levels of cortisol and corticosterone, guess what? You can't concentrate, you can't focus, you can't learn things and process things. They've seen this in research. And therefore, when you add something like L-theanine, how that impacts the brain, it lowers the levels of cortisol and corticosterone so that you can be in a more of a state of learning and actually retaining information and memorizing things and also focusing. So they have found that in research, it does increase levels of attention span and also reaction time when they're testing for different memory recall. And especially they found this even more true when people tend to have issues with anxiety and when they would add something like L-theanine, they performed better when it came to memory and retention recall, which then leads to improving accuracy and learning overall. Now that sounds great and dandy, but does these things actually work when you're taking L-theanine? Does it impact the brain that way? So the only way to really know is to actually take it yourself, but I did that myself, and you can watch this video right now where I took L-theanine for 30 days to see if I actually got these same benefits that we just talked about. So watch this video right now.